Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Alex Fox, this is Fox and Sloth Gaming, and we're back with What's in the Library. We're revisiting Abzu, I hope I'm saying that right, um, because even though we finished the game on Friday, we did not finish it with 100% completion. And I'll do 100% completion run like from beginning to end later on. But what I wanted to do today was since Abzu is chapter based, if you go down here and you look at the chapters, you can actually start where you were at any point and go back through it. So I figured the first step we should do is go back through, get all the achievements, and then we can do a new game and do a full 100% completion run through all at once. Which, it's really cool because it's not that long of a game, so this is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, I got two more minutes till we officially start. You guys just want to hang out in the chat. Uh, so, we have several chapters to choose from. We're gonna start at the beginning and make sure that we got them all. Uh, most of- we got most of them. So it'll just be a matter of going through and checking off some of the areas and making sure that we didn't miss anything. We did not get all of the hidden pools of fish, I believe. We did not get all of the Nautili. Um, and there's a couple other achievements that we didn't get. There's a whole area we actually missed because you're not required to go through. There's a whole secret area I found out. So we're gonna find that today because that sounds cool. Because secret areas are always cool. Okay. All right, so let's just go into the first chapter and we'll start there. Hi, Judge Judy Slayer. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. I'm kind of new, so I'm really super excited when people find me. This is like my third stream, so I hope you're enjoying it. Alright, we're just gonna give it a minute to load. It starts us back at the very beginning, but it doesn't, it won't give us the tutorial stuff to go through. So we'll just be able to start. And it's a little disorienting when you first start because you have no idea which direction you're facing, but that little strip of green that you can see right there, that is where we need to go. Let's get myself reoriented a little bit. Through the fish. Okay, and even though it starts us without doing the tutorial, we do still have to ride the grouper through to the first area. So we'll go over here and find him. There he is. So we'll latch onto him, he'll take us through, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, so this was the first area. And I believe we got all the hidden pool locations in this one, but we're gonna go and just sort of systematically check everything. Uh, there's three in this area, so we have one. So if you go over the rock, there's one on the left, one on the right, and if you go straight through... There is one right there. So those are our three locations in this area, and we got them all. So we started off strong. do is also make sure while we're in this area that we also got all the Nautili. 
I believe there's 19 Nautilite total. And the first one should be just below the shark. And you'll be able to tell if you've already gotten it. Ooh. Because the mound that you get it off of will still be there. Well, I think I'm in the wrong place. Hold on. Yep, I'm in the wrong place. Sorry about that. So we need to find the meditation statue. There it is. And then if you go below that... So we already got this one, but I wanted to show you guys what it would look like if you've already gotten it. So if you're going back through the game and you want to get all the achievements, and you're not sure which ones you've gotten this mound, is where it'll be. So the mound will still be there. Okay, so that's everything for this area, but I missed a minor achievement earlier um, called ballet. So what we're gonna do is ride any fish and then you can just press B and you will do a barrel roll. And that gets you the ballet achievement. Which, if you notice, you can I didn't know you could do this. You can do a little barrel roll whenever you want. Okay, so we are done with this area. So we are going to go explore the next one. There we go. There's our door. We need to pick up our robot friends so we can open said door. friend who can help us unlock this door. There's the great white shark. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. And there should be a Nautilus in here. Now, I honestly can't remember if we already got it. So we're gonna check. should be right over here. Okay, and it looks like we got this one already. Because it's not there anymore. head into the next area and explore there. But first, we're going to explore this portal so we can release the life back into this area. Oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, we have the same number of nautili that we had before, because we haven't picked up any extra. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the possibly 19 nautili. So I didn't do a very good job of finding the nautili, did I? But hopefully we will do better on our second run through. And like I said, once, you know, we sort of get everything figured out, we'll do a 100% run through from beginning to end on a new game file. Um, so we can see it all done properly. Almost like I'll know what I'm doing. Right, we released the manta rays. Still beautiful the second time around. I love the visuals of this game. Okay, so there's actually no not a lie or hidden portals in this area. So we are gonna go straight through. There's just that coral that we restored. through the temple. Okay, so I did not go down the first time I was here, because honestly, I thought the shark was going to come back. But apparently, if you go down, there's a portal where we can release a pretty cool animal. The leatherback sea turtle. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the largest sea turtle currently in existence. There's some pretty cool stuff down here. So that's cool. Okay, so we got that hidden portal, so that was one of the ones that we missed. And then there's also, there it is, the Nautili. Down here. And that is our hidden portals and our Nautili for chapter one. I'm gonna ride a leatherback sea turtle. Because if you didn't think I was gonna take advantage of that, you were sorely mistaken. Can I do a barrel? <gasps> I can. You know, so I just realized I can actually, I believe, holy crap, I can actually control it. You know, I'd never tried that before. Wow. I just assumed I was along to enjoy the ride. Alrighty. Now what you can do is if you're going just chapter by chapter, you can always exit out, come back, and you don't have to start all the way over, you can start at chapter two. But we're actually going to go straight through 
just because it's easier. does take a second to load though. Okay, so the first stream, just gonna give you guys a heads up, the first stream there are no not allowed to try to collect. Uh, but the second stream there will be, so you're gonna have to learn to ride these streams. But we already got the achievement for going through 15 schools of fish, but it's super fun, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, there's two, three, Ah, I missed that one. Oh, there's the dolphins. Five. Six. Seven. Also make it really hard to see, which is why this achievement I guess could be really difficult. First things first, if we go up here to the top of this rock, you can see the rock where the Nautilus was sitting. We already got this one. And then, so the other two are in the jet stream for this area, so we will have to be quick about that, but let's get the hidden pools first. So, really cool, easy way to make sure you haven't hit, missed any of these hidden pools is to swim very high up. Have a little bit of fun. Now you can see that we've got one, two, and then there is a third one way over here in the distance, which I believe we missed. There we 
go. Oh. I don't think I was in range. There we go. The Vaquita. Oh, I think they're porpoises. I think. Not really sure. Let's see if I can get close to one. Yeah. It's a little porpoise. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me in the comments if it's actually a type of dolphin, but... I believe it's a porpoise. Okay, so now we need to go into the cave and pick up a friend. So that we can open the coral wall. Now that we have our robot friend, we can get that coral wall opened. Oh, also I found out a cool thing while I was... Now that I know I can do that thing. If you do a barrel roll, and they just roll with you, you can go even faster! For a small period of time. Alright, now we're gonna go to the ditch stream. And we're gonna need to be quick. I would ignore the fish in this one. Especially if we've already gotten the achievement like we have. The first one is gonna be on your bottom left. On a ledge. It'll light up like the others. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, we got it. Okay, and I think that's the one for the jet stream. There's one more, but I believe it's in the, the gorge after. It's always so creepy. I still find this creepy. It's like they all jump with you and then they just disappear. Okay, let's go get this portal which will open up the way to get to the next gorge. Okay, so now that we can restore Coral 2, let's go do that, get our orcas back.
Beautiful. Mm. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. The allergies are acting up a little bit. So I don't believe there's anything for us in here. So we're just going to head through this gate. There's our bait ball. And again, we apparently needed to go down. Far further than we did. It's such a creepy feeling down here. Our light hasn't come on that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and it's right there. Well, that's some kind of bridge. All right, we're going to get a thresher shark. Alright, oh, and we got the achievement, so this must have been the last one that we missed. Awesome, so yeah, we released fish from all the hidden pools, so we got the ecosystem achievement. Alright. Let's see if there are any... Not a lie. There should be one on a rock outcropping. Maybe this is it. Not sure if this is the correct outcropping. Oh, there it is. Okay, and that should be the last one for this area. And we don't have to worry about the hidden portals anymore because we've gotten them all. Like I said, if you missed any, because um, you're just joining us now, I'm going to do a 100% playthrough at some point um, in the future where I'll start a new game and go from beginning and end and get all of the all of the things that we need to get. go to the surface? Nope, he won't go to the surface. That makes sense. Let's try a humpback whale. Doesn't appear to want to breach. Interesting. So you can only control it so much. Oh, there it goes, there it goes.
Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. Bridge at all. Okay, on to the next section. Okay, so we're going on to chapter three. We've already gotten all the hidden pools, so we're not gonna look at those here. You'll have to wait till the 100% achievement run. Um, this is just sort of mopping up the initial run. So in chapter three, we've still got some, still need to see if we've got the Nautilus because we haven't gotten that achievement yet. And I believe there's two more achievements we need to get, but I don't think they can be done in chapter three. I believe they're later on in the game. Okay. So I, this is probably my, mm, I wouldn't say my favorite chapter, but the first one where I was like, oh yeah, we're really getting into it now just because of there's actual ruins. Okay, so the forest ruins, when we enter we're going to start swimming to the left, towards the station. We're going to go up here, and behind the meditation shark, I, mean, I believe we got this one on our initial run, but we're going to check anyway. So, oh, turned a little too soon. There we go. Like I said, I think we got this one. We did. We got we got this one. As all the others, you can see the little rock that it was sitting on, but it's not there. Okay. So we will continue on because we already got all the portals. And we do need to open the doors real quick. So for anyone that missed that, what we're going to do is go down here. Where is it? There it is. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna open the side. on the other side and I believe we need to find a robot friend real quick because I believe there's a coral patch in the way let's check first yep looks like there is so what we'll do is I believe there's a robot drone down here yep there he is There 
go. So we'll pick him up, he'll let us through the coral, and we can unlock the other side of the gate, which will then allow us to go through to the next area. should open the other side. And I just realized that all of my messages that I wrote down before the stream started uh, did not show up, at least on my part of the broadcast. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if it's a me problem. Okay, well that one showed up that I can see. So I hope- I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can, because I, I just put some stuff about what we're doing. But I just looked at the side of my screen and realized that it wasn't there. Like I said, this is only the third stream, so I'm still getting used to everything. Okay, so we need to get over here. Quick, quick, so we'll do that. There we go. Should go quite fast in this game. There's our great white friend again. No, come back, friend! I do like that he doesn't just disappear. I bet if he- you obviously can't go fast enough because it slows you down after a time. But it does make me wonder if it's actually, like, physically possible to catch him and ride him beforehand. Anyway, so the other Nautilus that we already got was over here, behind the the kelp that he seems to come from when you come from from the corridor. Okay, so let's go through the next area. I would love to share with you guys that my partner is at work and only moderately paying attention to my stream because he's working and he just had to text me to congratulate me that I had a third follower and that makes me so so happy <laughs> he's very supportive and I love him okay let's get this portal done This will give us the whale sharks, I believe. Which, when I was a child, I think were one of my were my top favorite animal for a while. I mean, they're still up there for me. But when I was a kid, I was all about sharks. The whale sharks were obviously the coolest because they were the biggest. And also, they wouldn't eat you, so. Bonus. Bonus points being large and friendly. Big friendly giant. That movie's not about whale sharks. But it should be. Although that would be awkward.
There's our big beautiful whale sharks. I wonder if we can breach the surface with a whale shark. I don't know that we can because they're sharks. I feel like, like the fish, they wouldn't want to go to the surface. They like the fish. They are fish. Must find out. He distinctly bends down. Okay, so it looks like you can only breach with stuff that should be breaching. If that makes sense? Okay. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Let's see, there should be a shell over by this gate. Somewhere, and I don't think we got it. This is the wrong wall. I know we got one in here. And it was over there. Maybe that was the only one. Oh, I'm not high enough up is the issue. Okay. Yeah, we already got it. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna go through the gate. As you can see, we apparently did quite well with the Nautilus at the beginning of the game. Because we only, we only missed uh, one the first three chapters, I think. Although I may have already forgotten what I meant, I got one. Then again, the game gets a little weird and awesome soon, so there is that. I might have gotten distracted for the second half of the game. this little puzzle area. Wait for the gate to open. Say goodbye to our little robot friend. Okay. 
So we should be getting into chapter four. So it should be it's about halfway through. It is halfway through. Mm. It's the second half. I don't know. Uh, but coming up, we will have the other two achievements that we didn't get before. Just a second. Blue whale. Okay, so this is probably my favorite part of the game. The visuals are great. that goblin shark coming in at the end. Okay, so the Nautilus here is on the highest point. I believe we already got it. But we should, we're just going to double check. There it is. So normally it would be on this skeleton 
skull. Oh, oh, we didn't get it. We did, we got it now. Awesome. Okay, I'm going down here because we need to follow these wires to activate this door without getting blown to smithereens. Well, hopefully without getting blown to smithereens. Nope. I was trying to go by like really fast, but I hadn't recovered fully yet. There we go. Okay, got one side activated, now I gotta get the other side activated. Careful, because that only deactivates the mines in this corridor. Okay, there goes our shark friend, and we're going to follow him. But first, when we get through the store, we need to go up and to the right. to release our buddy. moment. Come back, my friend. There it is.
Oh, they're going where I don't think we can follow. Nope. Wait, can I follow? I love how I've already played this game all the way through and I'm still getting distracted. That's how fascinating it is. Alright, there's our meditation shark and there should be... I think I went too... I remember getting this one. I think I went too far down. There it is. So it'll normally be there on that little rock. And that should be the last one. For now. release the giant squid now. And if we look back real quick, we can see we have quite a few more Nautilus hanging around. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? They're kind of hard to count when they're sideways. Also, for some reason, I just noticed this time around that I love when the giant squid like pop up almost like plants blooming rather than just straight up like everything else. Okay, we've already gotten everything in this area, so we're gonna go ahead and go through the door. And we're gonna go down. I didn't think we could go any farther down, did ya? Real quick, I want to know, how did the shark fit through here? Through the minefield. See, at least I know how the shark got through this hole. Okay, this one's a bit tricky because you gotta. Be aware of the mines. 
Scoot your way past him. They're making the mines. Which all leads to this. And I still don't know what that is. What is that? It's some sort of life force, obviously, for the robots. And for the ocean. field of doom that you can't go over I touched it. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't fully recover yet. Nope. Ah! This is worse than the first time. Oh! I mean, the good news is they disappear. I don't know if that's helping me. Not even a little bit. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I was trying to go back up. Oh, this is horrible. Ah! <laughs> no one's watching right now, right? <laughs> no one can see this. Found a path underneath. All right. God, I'm so glad you can't die in this game. This one seems sentient. And that's the game. Just kidding. That would suck, wouldn't it? Sorry about that. It's... I took a bite of food. It was French toast.
Okay, we are recovering. Oh god, we burnt a freaking figure into the bottom of the ocean. Because of course we did. I'm assuming we can't go up. I'm sad again. So now we're in Atlantis, <laughs> so we need to do a little puzzle to get to the next area. up these stairs. There would normally be a Nautilus here, but I believe we already got it. No, no, we didn't. Alright then. We did not get it. Cool. Right, but we did release the first part of this puzzle. So we are oh oh 
well, I can't aim for crap, so I don't play FPSs. So we have the first one. Now we need to go release the second one. It should be over here. Alright, well before we go there should be another Nautilus in this area. Back up to the surface. Don't know why I can't swim. Should be over here. Yep. This is a new area. I definitely didn't get this one before because I didn't even know this was over here. Cool. Wow. That's super pretty. here to these gates. Activate this and we'll ride our way to the next area. See that gazebo over there? That's where we're headed. Off to the right. There we go. 
one more Nautilus to help complete our collection. Now to get to the next area, we need to complete another puzzle. <coughs> Again, I apologize for the coughing. Alright, so all we have to do in here is just follow these lines. There we go. That'll activate the middle fountain, which you can then use to activate the doorway. <laughs> there we go. Just follow the streams. Activate this fountain and we'll be rocketed to our next destination. Okay, let's get going. We'll have to go this way. It's so beautiful. Stream. It's a good place to get the last achievement of, not last achievement, but the achievement of doing the 15 fish, if you haven't already.
really enjoy this part. There's no Nautilus or anything in the section, so you can just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so for this section, there's a gate at the bottom, and in order to open it, you have to unlock it at the end of the two chains, just like the other ones. I know we're going through the game really fast, but it's because we're not doing everything. <coughs> like, we're doing all the puzzles and stuff, but as far as, like, the fish portals and Nautilus, we're only picking up the Nautilus that we didn't have already. And then we'll be starting a new game with 100% completion. I know I've said that before, but just in case anybody's watching that wasn't earlier. So as you can see, we have a lot more Nautili up there. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I don't know if I counted that one. Or she's back. I never... I, they never clarified. So is my bodysuit. No, you could do that. That was freaking awesome.
Oh, I gotta try to do that again. Hold on. Okay, so I need to try to get up there. Dang it. Ugh. timing is like way off for these. Okay, there's the ledge. Oh no, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting way too close is the problem. Right, let's try the other one again. And I went backwards. I see it. Okay. Let's try this again. I need to breach and then hit the square. Uh, I Got it. I don't think you actually have to jump out of the water. <coughs> okay. First coral. Apparently you can get schools of fish here too. Bad aim on that one.
this, but I wonder. Yeah, soothing. They're deep water. So here's one of the final achievements, to breach on the back of a blue whale, get to the achievement Leviathan. achievement right over here. Oh wow, look at this area. Yes, yeah, so that's where we came from. So, right above the first coral, ironically. Oh, 
there it is. There it is. Okay. The achievement Arctic Explorer. Oh, that's cool. Okay, but there's one more Nautilus we need to get, so I can't play with the penguins all day. I do need to go back to that piece of land, though, because I didn't see the Nautilus shell on there. That's it. is the last one, and I believe I'm going to have to make another stream if I'm wrong. But I believe that is the last achievement in absolute. So let us go ahead and blast our way to the end of this game and the end of this stream. As I miss a hole that is easily- oh my god! hole and I can't get in the <sighs> okay there we go I love this it's so dramatic It's still technically the first run through, because it's the same game file. But that is the completion, I believe, of our first run through. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Actually, it was very pretty, just not on my end. It's a beautiful game. And I applaud the people at Giant Squid that made it. Okay, well that's all for tonight, guys. Nearly two hours with you guys, and it was great. Um, 
for anybody that doesn't know, actually, if if you're trying to get that achievement, which you'll see when I do the 100% completion, there is actually a Nautilus somewhere here in the end credit screens to the right. It'll come into screen, and you just have to be patient in order to get it. I think it sits right there, that little piece that's coming into screen now. But that is all, you guys. Have an awesome night, and I'll see you next time.